I'm done with the parts that needed my involvement to complete. Although it's my first time working with the Akasha like this, its internal structure and operation procedures are easy for me to understand. Greater Lord Rukadavata's design is truly brilliant! Oh, also, this is for you. Huh? What's this little floaty thingy? It's a small device I put together just now. You can think of it as an upgraded Akasha terminal. You may not need it right now, but it should be helpful in certain situations. Wait! This thing has the same characteristics as Paimon! We're both small things that float! Oh, all the things that make Paimon special got copied! When Paimon appears with the Traveler from now on, people won't remember Paimon because she is a unique! <laughs> it's alright, Paimon. It can't replace you. It's only a flying device, but you're the Traveler's irreplaceable friend. <sighs> you're so good at comforting people, Nahida. If only the Traveler was as smart as you. Hmm? I was simply telling you what I feel to be the truth. I wasn't trying to comfort you. Nahida, you're natural at this. What you just said made Paimon even happier. By the way, there's something I need to confess. Even though I'm the Archon and in control of myself again, I'm not very good at fighting. You may have heard that an Archon's power is derived from their people's faith. However, I'm not as well loved as Greater Lord Rukadavata. If we get into a situation where combat is our only option, I'll have to count on you, and I'll do my best to provide support. I'm glad I can rely on you. Hmm. So the God of Wisdom isn't good at fighting? That actually sounds about right. I've located where the false god is. Time is of the essence, so let's skip to it.
What is this place? Is this really the way we need to go? Wow. Who would have thought there'd be a place like this hidden right slap bang in the middle of the city? The sages wanted to realize their god creation plan without being discovered. The safest and most convenient way would be to build within the academia itself. Hmm, that's true. They were already hiding one god, so why not two? Judging from the structure here, the project is a huge undertaking. The sages really saw the god creation plan as their ultimate goal. But this place doesn't look like it could have been constructed by the academia alone. The Fatui under the doctor sure didn't hold back. They provided a lot of technological support. Yeah, or else they wouldn't have been that generous. Is that it, though? I've always felt that this doctor is different from the Academia Sages. He doesn't seem to share their sense of urgency. Instead of being interested in the end product, it's like he's enjoying the experimental process. Hmm. The Fatui Harbingers are all such weirdos. So... The doctor being weird is actually normal. So, this Fatui that they're trying to turn into a god is called the Balladeer? We had previously come into contact with his consciousness. He harbors particularly strong obsessions. One is the desire for a gnosis, since he was created to be the vessel for one. The other obsession is probably related to his past. I can't quite explain it. Paimon knows that he was a prototype puppet for the Raiden Shogun before he became a Fatui Harbinger. That's why he wants a Gnosis so badly. There's no way he'd willingly be a test subject. Now with that temper and ego of his... It sounds like you know the Balladeer quite well. I see. Tell me more about him and what he's like. The more we know now, the better we can plan for and react to any future situation. Ah, I see. How fascinating. All right, time to go. Let's get through here and meet him in person. <laughs> work time! No more time to work! No Allow me! There is no escape! <laughs> Keep urine for a little shock. Seems all messed up. Let's go around and see if there's a way to fix it. Huh? <laughs> 
Let's begin. Try not to enjoy this too much. This isn't good. for a little shock.
What they say is true. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. No more words. Hold the line! Send this quickly! The Temple of Wisdom! <laughs> I will oh, end it. You keep yeah. Use this first. Come a little closer. Hey, <laughs> urine for a little shock. That's it to work. Blitz. Come on, I'm Don't ah. be killed, Joy. Uh, we don't need to be There is no escape. Keep up. Just come a little closer. You need to hurry up. This one's well done. Minute to memory. Come a little closer. its operational status, we must prepare for the worst. The god they wanted to create is likely close to completion or already completed. Oh no, what should we do? Paimon can't imagine how hard it would be to fight against the Fatui Harbinger with the Gnosis. Are you nervous, Paimon? If you really want to know, of course Paimon's nervous. Aren't you too, Nahida? Yes, I am. This is probably the first time I faced with a calamity of this degree since my birth. I feel not just nervous, but curious as well. Curious? Curious about what? Curious about our fate. To me, everything we perceive in this world, everything we learn, and everything that happens to us is considered knowledge. And if it's a form of knowledge, then it can be understood. However, only fate is about that which has yet to occur. So it has always drawn my curiosity. So to me, fate is the ultimate knowledge. That's also why I love observing humans and all the things that happen to them. It all brings me great satisfaction. And now, at long last, I'm not just an observer anymore. I will personally experience my own fate with you by my side. <laughs> Isn't this such a wonderfully exciting thing? Ah, so that's what you mean. Paimon thinks she understands what you're feeling. Agreed. Okay, let's continue on. I can sense his aura from here.
Who would have thought the world would be so eager for my birth? I remember you, Boer, the god of wisdom, and standing beside you, the Traveler. Is heal knowing and powerful now like Greater Lord Ruka Devada? No, I can't feel the same kind of divinity I felt from the Greater Lord. It seems that the sages didn't get the chance to infuse the Divine Knowledge capsules into him. But even still, he has undoubtedly become a true god now. <sighs> so we're too late? The Balladeer has already... already become a god? The Balladeer. A long bygone title. When my spirit ascended to divinity, I felt as if I had existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Looking back, the existence of what once called itself Kuni Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. This imposing aura, it really feels like the gods! A body that capitalizes on the Balladeer's original construction as a mechanical puppet, with the Gnosis serving as a constant power supply. How much effort and resources did the Sages put into this? From a purely technological perspective, it's a commendable achievement indeed. It's no exaggeration to say, this is the culmination of human wisdom. You sure are something! Dishing out compliments at a time like this? But I don't think he's reached the spiritual height of a god. Strife is engraved upon every god and every gnosis brought forth into this world. Can you feel it? The exhilaration of such power and the thrill of anticipation for our contention. Nahida wouldn't feel the same things as you! Do you not realize that you are interrupting a conversation between gods? Lowly creature, know your place! The strife engraved upon a Gnosis. You're talking about the Archon War. Tavat's current peace was not easily won. I didn't personally participate in the Archon War, but the way I see it, all those losses were meaningless, driven by the demands of the laws. There's no point in bringing it up again. <laughs> Is that so? Yet I am deeply disappointed that I was never allowed the fortuity to personally participate in the Archon War. This is a first. Encountering a god in this world who does not crave power. No wonder your own people have abandoned you, god of wisdom. <laughs> your judgment is as your existence. Unsubstantial. This is where everything ends, Boor. The God of Wisdom. You should know that wisdom cannot solve every problem. Like now, where your only option is to face me in combat. Come! Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. Sure! Feeble human! Hold the line! This way for you! Insignificant past! Let's spark things up a little. You're in for a little illusion shatter! <laughs> My endless cycle begins! Oh. My... Rust and rebuild! Shine down! 
feed for you! There is no escape! Make yourself a move! Grow, grow, grow! A fresh maneuver! At my command, you <laughs> shall fall! This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? <laughs> you've tried to take my gnosis from me? <sighs> we just concluded the 168th loop. <gasps> Did you know that in the effort to create you, the people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzerus festivals and Samsara cycles. The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? <sighs> you can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? Huh? Come, Traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. <gasps> All that battle experience! It's more than that. 
compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. I've sent everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. I've asked them... to help you find a way to defeat the false god. Tricks won't save you. Are you done with your tricks? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? I'll leave this to you. The first sage. A fool. A thousand eons! Mine to dominate!
reality is pain. Hold the line. Let's move up. There is no escape. Committed to memory. I have some for you, too. You're in for a little shot. Humans. Filthy humans. That's mine! Don't even try! I'll never! I'll never go back! yet found the answer to the most important mystery. Ermin's soul is still waiting to be saved. With the power of another Gnosis, we may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadevata. Huh? This is... That's right. This is the last memory of my predecessor.